Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this episode of Anchored. What is the most difficult issue or struggle in your life that you have overcome? Maybe it was an addiction or forgiving someone who hurt you. Maybe it was overcoming something physical, like an illness. For most of us, I think one of the biggest challenges that we will overcome spiritually can be categorized into what we think in our mind, what we do in our closest relationships, and the words that we say. In Matthew 5, 28, Jesus says it like it really is. When it comes to lust, our thoughts and our minds, this is a really big deal. Matthew 5, 32, Jesus sets the bar really high for people who are married. How we treat our spouse and how we treat our marriage each day is also a big deal. And in Matthew 5, 37, Jesus tells us to be honorable in our words. If we use words to deceive others or puff ourselves up by slightly altering the facts, we aren't just telling a white lie. Jesus cares about how we speak. Every word is important to him. All of this has to do with our integrity, and integrity is tough because in a sense, Jesus is not concerned so much with the black and white. Did we have a lustful thought? Did we get a divorce? Did we tell a lie? No, in preaching the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus is delving deeper into our hearts. Do we honor other humans with the thoughts we think? Do we love our spouse daily and fight for our marriage as if it is a sacred bond? And do the words we say build up to a more full picture of the truth? As we struggle in these areas of our faith and commit to battle in areas of thought, action, and words, let's try and keep a few things in mind. Grace is here for us as we draw closer to the Spirit of God and grow to be more like Jesus. Grace is here for us in the process. Grace is great, but it shouldn't be an excuse not to battle lust or to give up in our marriage or make false promises or claims with our words. This week, consider one of these three areas that you struggle with the most. What is one way you can draw closer to God when you're struggling to put off the old self in this area and put on the new? Remember that the Spirit of God is with us, those who have put their full trust in Jesus. On our own, we will fail, but with the Spirit helping us, we can expect to be more and more like Jesus each day.